Hello there. This is another review of a Metal Gear Solid figure. This time I tackle the last of um, one of the Dead Cell members. It's a fortune. Well, that's supposed to be a saxophone. <laughs> um, uh, I'll make. I'll put a link um, to the Metal Gear Wiki for the for information about the character, but. She um she's a saxophone player. That's why they would play saxophone music whenever she showed up. Um, her let me see her her suit has a tampoed U.S. Navy on the bottom of her neck. There's um she has a cut neck, which is a cut joint. But when you face the figure forward, she has a crooked neck. She's looking to the side. The coat is attached to her back and it doesn't come off. Uh, let me see, this is cast into the plastic so this, um, this sleeve is permanently attached and this sleeve just dangles here. So it doesn't even have an opening. <laughs> it's made out of soft plastic, as you can tell. And so are these straps. She comes with a holster on her leg. But the paper that comes with her says that she has a, that she has a gun. You could put, you could, um, put the pistol in her holster. But I don't find in my, where I keep my Metal Gear figures, I don't find an extra gun. So either the figure didn't come with it or I lost it, which I doubt. Because if I still have her sunglasses, and these are tiny, then <laughs> I should still have her gun. Um, the gun has a strap so that you could put it on her shoulder. This is her rail gun. Um... Crying Wolf has a similar gun. It might even be the same, but eh. it comes with this uh, strap, so you could put it around the figure. But like with my with Raid uh, with Raiden's machine gun, the straps are easy to break, so I haven't forced it onto her. It's a pretty cool science fictiony gun. Yeah. <laughs> I think in um, the movie Eraser, there was somebody um, selling these to the bad guys, rail guns. She comes with these sunglasses, which already made an appearance, and they fit on her. Just move this curl made out of plastic, and let's see, she becomes the queen. <sighs> Thank goodness there was no vamp in this line because I don't like vamp. <laughs> but, see, sunglasses fit pretty cool. They don't shake off that easy. No, I guess it's the curl that holds it in place. It's, a, it's an okay figure. I mean, if you're a Metal Gear fan... And you want like a statue of um, of fortune to have in your like with your Metal Gear displays and stuff. It's it's pretty good. Um, since there aren't a lot of joints, uh, there's a leg joint that I forgot to mention. Since there aren't a lot of joints, the sculpt is um, doesn't look interrupted. So it looks natural, like her elbows and stuff. So it's it's a good display piece. But as an action figure, there's not a lot of action you can get out of it. Let me see. No, there's no joints down here. Don't want to force it. No, no knees. No elbows. There's a wrist joint on both hands. 
and um, let me see if I could fit the rail gun in her arms just give me a moment this might take a while okay after trying for a while I finally got the gun on but she's not even holding it <laughs> I couldn't fit the hand into the um, into the handle so what I did using the um, the pressure from from the, the upper arm and the body I have the gun held in place and even the the arm on the hand on the top that's supposed to fit on top of the gun it's it's too closed so it doesn't even grasp onto this thing it doesn't hold on to anything uh, so the figure actually doesn't hold the gun it just looks like it's holding the gun but it still looks pretty good well, let me see if I can get her to stand she comes with a, a piece of uh, Metal Gear Ray <laughs> which is uh, one of the wings see it's one of the wings in the part I mean it's one of the parts here alright so that's my review of fortune like with Olga I only recommend that you pick this up if you want to complete, um, complete Metal Gear Ray if not if you just want a display piece of a dead cell member then good but good luck keeping her standing. <laughs> Alright, that's my review. Over and out. See ya.